Hello, ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Neuron Films. Today, we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials, and in this tutorial, we're going to show you guys how to properly delete or fully delete a movie clip that you may have imported into iMovie. So, what you normally would do is you'd start out by importing a clip or a photo from your desktop or from your camera or iPhone, for example, and you'd over import it straight into your event that you would like to put it in. For example, you, you, you can either go through import option to import the photo or video, or you can go directly from your desktop, drag it in, which is what I normally do. I would drag it in and I would drop it straight into the event that I want it in. For, for this example, I'm just going to use my event, that's iMove tutorial event. And here we I've imported a few images that I've had previously here and uh, an actual clip. Also, this is uh, from my previous tutorial. Be sure to check that out. So how to precisely edit these. It's basically using this zoom in function to see all of these titles and text that we have for now. But for this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you guys how to delete some of these exactly and how to remove them fully off of your computer. That way it doesn't take up space because as soon as, as soon as you start you messing with a lot of or editing a lot of footage, your computer starts getting full of Footage, uh, videos and it takes time tends to use up a lot of memory so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna select this for example I'm gonna use an image for, as an example but when you're done with editing it with a clip that you've and within the event and you've put into a project you've exported that project you're done with using that clip now or that image what you can do is basically you want to select the whole clip first you can either double click that and then you can actually select multiple ones but you just double click it and then you can right click and go to move to trash now sometimes this doesn't fully move it to trash it just it's just, it'll give you a prompt sometimes are you sure you want to delete the selected files from my movie like just hit okay and then let's just do another one here let's do this image here double click it right click and go to move to trash it'll give you another prompt it'll move it completely to trash um, that's it. Sometimes it doesn't move it directly to trash. Um, in this example, it may have, but um, if it doesn't, it doesn't end up in your trash. You can go straight. You can go right over here to this little prompt where it says "Hide Rejected." Right next to the search bar, and right next to where you can adjust the clip sizes. Um, if you go down under, instead of going "Hide Rejected," go to "Rejected," and it will show you in here what has been rejected, what you've moved into the rejection section. For example, like if I select this and I hit delete. If I hit delete and I don't hit the, I don't right click it and go to move to trash. I just, I just selected it and hit delete on my keyboard. It'll take it straight into the rejected, and you'll see it'll be in the rejected folder. Now you can right click, click it from the rejected and go to move to trash, and then from here it'll be, it'll take you, you'll take it directly to trash. As an example, now it's completely off of iMovie. Now in, let's say if you have it, if you still have it within a project, I suggest you go to that project and uh, delete it from that project personally but since this is within this event I only have one project and within that project I don't have any of those images within this project so I deleted those movies so they're gonna be I mean those clips and files they're gonna be in my trash now also since I don't need them anymore also if I had them on my desktop or anywhere else on my computer um, I do suggest um, moving them from your computer to the trash as well so you can search them by name by through the spotlight here or you can actually search them and find them on your desktop if you saved them on my on your desktop which is where I normally save my clips that way I know to delete them afterwards that I'm done with them and it frees up a lot of space on my computer since I work with videos very often so now that you have it in trash my iMovie is actually I don't know why it's going very slow for some reason but I'm actually gonna close it out just just well, that's actually part of the tutorial, and uh, because after when you're done with it, you're, you've moved what you wanted to move to trash. You've removed it from your computer. You searched it maybe on your computer also. I'm just gonna ignore and hit OK. Um, you've searched for it on your computer. It's not on your computer anywhere besides your trash. Um, you can go to your trash, and you can go in and empty your trash after that as well. Empty trash. Now sometimes we'll give you a prompt saying that the following atom cannot be removed because it is still being used. If you get that prompt. Make sure you close down iMovie. Just go to force quit or just quit. Once you close down iMovie, give it like maybe 10 seconds. Go back to the trash and go to empty trash again, and it will let you empty this time. That means iMovie is, when you close it out, that means iMovie is no longer using it. And uh, then you'll be able to empty that trash, and that clip should be completely gone. But be sure to take advantage of the spotlight search. It searches for the file name, the image name. You'll be able to find it all over your, anywhere on your computer, basically, if you have that file or that movie within iMovie or with on your desktop somewhere on your computer. 
but yeah that's that's base that's the basics right there on how to delete from your iMovie you're just gonna have to go to just check out your hide rejected now right click to move to trash just select what you want to move make sure it's no longer in your projects and then go ahead and empty your trash afterwards as well and uh, make sure you have iMovie closed when you're emptying your trash to fully successfully remove all those clips and images on that be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below you guys i'll be happy to help you catch you guys next tutorial and later Let my life be the proof the proof of your love.